Hello and welcome. Let us solve this question on ratios and proportions. The ratio of men to women in a self-help group is 8 is to 13. Two more men joined the group while five women left it. The new ratio of men to women in the group is 7 is to 10. Part A. Find the original. 1. The number of men in the group. 4 marks. Then 2. The number of women in the group, 2 marks. Then part 3, number of members in the group, 2 marks. Then part B, determine the new number of members in the group. So those are the questions. Let's go to the first part of the question, uh, where we are given that the ratio of men to women in a self-help group is... 8 is to 13. Two more men joined the group while five women left it. And uh, the ratio therefore changed that is men to women to become 7 is to 10. So to solve this question easily, we shall begin by letting the number of men so let the number of men b x this is the original number of men now we have uh, the ratio of men to women given as 8 is to 13 now we've let the number of men in that group to be represented by x what about the number of women so these are we are going to get the number of women. Uh, X, which is the number of men, these are we get the number of men. X will be obtained by taking, working from the ratio, because 8 is to 13 is the ratio of men to women. We get the number of men by taking 8 divided by 21. Where do you get 21? By simply getting the sum of the ratio, 8 is to 13, so 8 plus 13. So that is how we get the number of men. So what about um, the women? And the women in this case will be represented by 13. You get 13, the fraction uh, of women would be 13 divided by 21. What about that? So this is what is going to help us to get the number of women using x is the number of men so when you cross multiply here you get uh, 13 divided by 21 multiplied by x then divided by divided by 8 over 21 so that one you can multiply by the reciprocal which is 21 divided by 8 simple as that so this will give uh, this is 21 will cancel out and uh, you'll be left with 13 over 8 x so therefore the number of women will be 13 divided by 8 x so we have worked that from the ratio given men to women 8 is to 13 where the number of men we've led that on to be x so that one has given us the number of women to be 13 divided by 8 x now having that, um, now that we have the number of men and the number of women, we can go to the next statement. Two more men joined the group, so therefore um, men will increase by two. So the number of men is x, so that will give us x plus two. Okay, and then what about the women? Five left. So there are number of women, 13 divided by eight x so when five women left we subtract five so therefore the new number of men after two joined x plus two new number of women after five left will be 13 over 8x subtract five and that one this one resulted into the new ratio of men to women to be seven ratio ten so what does it mean it means that if I take 
x plus 2, I get this ratio, x plus 2, divided by 13 over 8x, subtract 5, that is the ratio, that ratio, because I'm using the number, that is the number of men divided by the number of women, that should give me this ratio, 7 is to 10, I rate it as 7, divided by 10. So this is what is going to help us to find x. And the moment we get x, we'll be able to get everything. Uh, because we also get the women and also answer the other questions. So work out for x here. So we do that by simply cross multiplying. So we have uh, x plus 2 multiplied by 10. That is equals to 7 multiplied by 13 over 8 x subtract 5 like that so this will give uh, 10 x plus 20 is equals to uh, 7 times 13 this will give 91 over 8 x subtract 35 so from here we can simply multiply each term by 8 to get rid of these um, eight here, we can simply multiply everything by eight, each term by eight to get rid of these uh, denominator here. So 10x by eight, you get 80x. Then these 20 times eight, you get 160. Then 91 over eight times eight, you get 91x. Then 35 times eight, you get 280. Then from there, like terms together, like terms together so we'll have uh, 80x subtract 91x is equals to uh, negative 280 subtract 160 and this will give negative 11x is equals to negative 440 so from here divide both sides by negative 11 and this will give x as 40 so x is 40. So we are supposed to find the original number of men. And since we had let the number of men to be x, therefore uh, this means x refers to the number of men. So the original number of men, 40 men. You have answered the first part. Part 2, the number of women in the group. The number of women in the group. Uh, just remember, the number of women in the group was this was represented by 13 over 8x. So this will be 13 over 8x, which will be given by 13 over 8 times x is 40. And this will give by 8, 1 by 8, 5. This will be 65 women. The other part, the number of members in the group. The number of members in the group. So this is very easy. The number of members in the group will be given by the number of men plus the women. You've already got the men to be 40. The women are 65. So this will give 105 members. As simple as that. And then from there, uh, the other part, determine the new number of members in the group the new number of members in the group so uh, we will start by getting the, the number of uh, new men new men will be given by uh, simply go back to these we have them here new men will be x plus 2 then new women will be 13 divided by x minus 5 so remember that So new men would be x plus 2. And since we got x as uh, 40, this will be 40 plus 2 to be 42 men. Then the women, the women are 13 divided by x subtract 5. And this will be uh, 13. We already got these. 13 divided by 8 multiplied by x. We got it here. They were 65. That will give us 65. So this will give us 65 subtract 5, which will be 60. 
60 women. So we have 42 men, 60 women. So therefore, the total new members will be 42 plus 60, and this will give 102 members. 102 members. So that is simply how you're supposed to solve that question. Thank you.